guys, this is the last video, the fourth video of um, the semester, the second half of the semester. And um, this one's basically just going over our last assignment, our web assignment four, uh, which serves as your final um, for this class. So you've made it, you've made it through HTML and CSS and COVID and WordPress. And now this is the last thing that you have to do. Um, for all those introverts out there who don't like public speaking, you've also kind of dodged a bullet in that you don't have to present this to the full class like we normally would um, outside of, you know, social distancing. So um, the way that we're going to be doing it this semester is just through the submission of uh, the Sakai site. It was just like we have done in our previous assignments. Uh, you'll send me a link to your website and um, that's how I'll grade it. And you'll also include a reflection. Um, but web assignment four, let's go over a little bit um, here of what that entails. So your final project will be your web page on your website showcasing the final project topic. Um, that is, uh, you'll create a new page on your WordPress and it'll call, be called final project. Um, it can, you know, obviously keep the same theme if you want it to with the rest of your pages or if you wanted to use a new theme on that page only, that's totally fine too. It's up to you. Be as creative as you want to be um, while, of course, keeping it very professional. Um, you'll Within that final project, that's where you'll post your final video um, that you did the first half of the semester um, and then that written piece that I've been talking about. Um, so that is not like the transcript of your video. It's taking some of the quotes and really building upon um, what you were able to show in the minute and 30 or 45 seconds that you had for your video project. So elaborating on what you did for the video project through text, um, that's what we're trying to achieve. So, um, you know, if you go to like news websites like WRAL or CNN or any of those websites that you visit uh, for news content, you can kind of see like what they've done. They have a video at the top of typically it's the top or embedded within their text story of itself but the text part of the video or the text part of the story the web page does differ from the video a bit it elaborates on the video story and kind of gets down a little bit deeper um, into some of the things that maybe you didn't have time to explain in the video um, maybe you wanted to introduce some data that supports um, the topic of your video or different media um, like uh, you know, one video project was on um, sustainable clothing and how this influencer was using Instagram to kind of promote this concept. Um, so, you know, you can, of course, kind of elaborate on the text of that story. Maybe you can include um, some imagery that she used on her Instagram or a direct feed, you know, from the Instagram account um, along with the video. So we're going to want to, of course, rewrite the video part, elaborate on that. Um, you're going to also include the video project within your story itself and you're going to post extra media related to the project itself. So that's where I was saying, you know, you can kind of get a little bit more creative and think outside the box a little bit. Um, think about your medium, think about whether, or your story, I'm sorry, and think about the mediums that play into that. Like if you, um, did a story on a photographer and you want to do, uh, you know, include a lot of their, their pictures or links to their, their portfolios. That's totally cool. Like go for that. Um, if you did a story on, um, a group of musicians together and you want to post, you know, some different YouTube videos of their music, um, that's fine as well. So think outside the box. If you need to brainstorm, let's do it on Facebook. That way other people can see kind of like where your mind is going and maybe that'll promote them um, to kind of think outside the box as well. Um, the uh, other you know, media ideas could be in, in infographics. So I have also created a video about Canva, which is great for uh, um, designing infographics or social media posts or um, you know, logos or anything like that. And there's tons of like different kind of media um, products that you can create through Canva that can uh, provide you with this uh, third bullet here. Um, this final project is worth 15% of your final grade, so it's worth a, a good hefty chunk of that. So be sure that you, um, you know, make sure that you're covering all the bases. We want professionalism. We want high quality writing. Um, if you need to get that, your text, uh, approved, like, proofread, have your buddy do it. Um, be sure that you get word or spell check done on your document itself. 
um, the text itself. Uh, I don't want to see any, you know, grammar mistakes or misspellings or anything like that. We are beyond that point now. Um, make sure that we have alternate or alternative text set for all photos. So anything that, um, you know, any media that you have embedded, whether it's photos or whatnot, I want to see in a description there um, of those items as well. Um, let's see, let's see. And I think that that really basically covers it. Um, if you're kind of at a loss for, okay, like how do you're trying to visualize it and you just can't think in your head like what this might actually turn out to, um, you can go to Sakai and under lessons here, we have, remember that resources and quick tips um, page here. So let's open that up. And down the very bottom, um, we have a few uh, links to final portfolio examples. So these are obviously just examples that you can go and check out and see what they've done. So this is their actual home page. Great photo, great clean design. Um, and then he goes into his work. So he has his digital story there. That's where he rewrote his video piece, um, elaborated on it, and included other elements. So he has some photos. Um, he elaborated on the story itself, included a, a little bit more detail. He took and um, obviously he didn't uh, interview this player, but he included some quotes as call-outs, as some visual imagery. Um, he included an infographic here, a few different infographics, and of course he embedded his video, which is what we, we need to include in all of our digital story pages. Um, so this individual also created, she created a pretty cool slider for her homepage and then her work. So she has her digital story here. Let's check that out real fast. So she included, she says, video, text, and infographics. So she has her video, obviously. Her text, she created infographics. Um, again, you can do this through Canva or InDesign or Photoshop or however you want to do your um, graphics if you want to include graphics there. Um, she also included some work samples here. That was part of your portfolio project. Um, and so you kind of already have that as part of your whole big project. And that is what um, this web assignment four is all about. So I have three different examples you can kind of cruise through, um, get some ideas, um, bounce some ideas off of the group, whether it's through Facebook or through your buddy. Um, because oftentimes, like especially working from home, as we found out with this whole ordeal, you don't want to be in isolation, especially when you're trying to be creative. So if you have ideas or you're like unsure about, oh, I'm not sure about this layout, what do you guys think? What can I do better or different here? Um, I'm just not feeling it quite like use the Facebook group for that because that is really where we want to get the collaboration and the creative juices flowing. So if you have any questions for this web assignment for which is your final project, I would um, highly encourage you to ask them, you know, a f definitely a few days before the project is due so that you can work out any kinks. Um, get started now, get started early. That way, if you do, do hit some roadblocks, we can kind of figure them out um, sooner rather than later. 11th hour is not the time to wait to um, do this project or to work out uh, some of those kinks. So I'm around if you have any questions and good luck to you all. Have fun, be creative.